Hey, this is Ben, and I call you Adventure Free. I want to make a game, but I don't have any budget. So here's how the poor game div works. Frankly, a game usually has its own genre. However, I really don't know which genre has the best product market fit. Therefore, I'm going to create a 2D open world role-playing game with multiple genres. For instance, you can have an open world clicker game that works like Forager, but at the same time, you can have some match-free minigame inside that open world. It's kind of like Inception, a game within another game. Game access creation is always the hardest part. Of course, you can purchase the game assets from some sort of existing marketplace like Unity, but it is always more flexible if you can create the game assets by yourself. Therefore, as I mentioned in the last video, I trade my iPad Air 2 for the latest version of the iPad with an Apple Pencil, and I spend some extra bucks to purchase an app called Procreate which is one of the best digital drawing applications on the market right now. After around 40 to 50 hours of learning from YouTube and Skillshare, here's the results from a guy without any art talent. There are two major ways to animate a 2D sprite in a game. The hard way is to draw the animation frame by frame. Of course, I would prefer to do it in an easy way which is animated by software. To build some simple animations, After Effects is good enough for the job. With the plugin like Dual Basil, it is possible to do simple character rigging in After Effects. However, if the sprite animations become more and more complicated, I may switch to a more professional tool for 2D rigging like Spine later on. Here's how it looks after a few hours of hard work. I once shared an article on Hacker News about a guy who waits 3 years to develop his own game engine. Therefore, I won't make the same mistake again. Based on my game concept, I finally select the game engine Deflow. I picked this game engine because of several reasons. First and foremost, although it is not an open source engine, it does support by King, the company that developed the very famous Candy Crush Sega. Secondly, I would like something more simple. Unity is a little bit overwhelming for my use case as long as I don't need anything related to 3D. Lastly, I do know Lua, which is the major programming language of the Flow game engine. And I have developed two side projects with this game engine before. As a result, to minimize the learning curve, the Flow is still the best option under my circumstances. Meanwhile, here are some of the technical tips about Default game development that I find after one week. Default is a great engine to build a simple 2D game. Basically, it includes a modified version of the Box 2D Physics engine for 2D physics simulations. It allows you to simulate Newtonian physics interactions between different types of collusion objects. As a result, it becomes very handy for me to build an invisible barrier on the edge of the floating island to avoid my character fall over. Instead of traditional platformer, I want the game to look more like an open world. Therefore, the isometric view angle is very good at faking a 3D world which is a 2.5D actually. Again, the collusion mechanism helps a lot for handling the shadow and vision effect correctly when the game character interacts with other game objects. Obviously, I'm not an English native speaker. 
Immersive is a vocabulary that I learned when I get into the game dev. I do want the user to feel more immersive when they play my game, so I will spend more time on the little details later on. But so far, I add a little bit friction on the grass terrain when the character walks on it. Also, I do create a cloud generator in order to have more dynamic weather system. Clouds are randomly generated and floating around the world. It will decrease the opacity and turns transparent when it collides with the game character to improve the gaming experience. Marketing is also important for game development nowadays. If you wanna self-publish your game, you better start building your brand from day one of your game development. This is the reason why you are watching this YouTube video. So thanks for watching my YouTube video. If you wanna see more videos about my game development journey, please feel free to subscribe my YouTube channel and remember to turn on the notification bell. See you guys soon in the next episode. Bye. I really want to tell you guys, I used to listen to raindrop sound during my software development. So listen. Very peaceful, huh?